YouTube. Welcome to another video from FS Pro in a series of videos on how to improve the scenery in X-Plane 10. Today I'll show you how to add visual clutter, that is tree lines and farms, to the usually dull landscape of agricultural areas and grassy areas. Tree Lines and Farms is more donation wear from Alpilot X, intended to improve the visual appeal of X-Plane. It uses heuristics derived from OpenStreetMap data and produces a result that's visually appealing, though unlikely to match real life. You get started by downloading the installation file from the Alpilot X site. The link is in the show notes below. I downloaded the file for Europe, which is 314 megabytes. If you choose to download from flightsim.com, you'll need a registered account, though creating that account is free. That said, I experienced better download speeds from ISDG, which did not require a registered account at the time of creating this video. If you've watched my earlier videos, you're probably well clued in to what happens next. Simply extract the file into your custom scenery folder and update your scenerypacks.ini file. If you'd like more information on how to do this, please see my video on adding an X-Plane Airport. Here's how Tree Lines and Farms works on our series island of Jersey. Note that Tree Lines and Farms makes use of default X-Plane textures and, properly installed, these will overwrite any textures or sceneries that you already have. This may cause some issues. It seems to work best on systems that do not employ photographic scenery, such as we created in an earlier video in this series. That's it for today. Next time, I'll be taking a look at real terror haze. Join me then, if you can. Thanks for watching.